Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra and this is my video on a Python program that does temperature conversions, whether that's from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Kelvin to Fahrenheit and so on. And this is in parallel with my Java program that does the same exact thing because as I am currently in school for data science, I am learning Java through my university and Python through the community college. And eventually I will be learning Python through my university as well. But since I'm learning two languages at once, I wanted to remain proficient in both of them. So I am creating programs that are relevant to my interests in science, and I am essentially creating them in each language to compare, contrast, and kind of make sure I know what each program does, despite them having slightly different nomenclature. So I am now in the spring 2023 semester of my program, and I am learning a lot. And so uh, things have changed a little bit since my last video. I now love to comment everything because I found that it actually helps me learn as I'm learning new concepts in my classes. So the first thing I want to start with is the comment up here where I just describe what this program does. So essentially it says this program converts temperatures, the user inputs a temperature type to convert, and then provides a temperature value. The user continues inputting data for temperature conversions until they tell the program to stop. So basically this is getting user input and converting temperatures. Now these are very rough programs. I am very new to programming and these are just programs to help me learn. But temperature conversions are very useful in anything scientific. We always want to know, you know, what's the conversion between Fahrenheit or Celsius or Kelvin, especially for astronomy where huge temperature ranges exist. So this is the Python version of a temperature conversion program. So the next thing I have are all my functions. And functions are equivalent to methods in Java. They're just short little blocks of code that can be reused over and over in different parts of the program without having to type a ton of code every single time. So instead of always retyping the same equation because these are only my calculations for the temperature conversions, I can just reuse my functions. So I've started my first one, Fahrenheit to Celsius, using the Python syntax, so DEF, and I've named it F2C for Fahrenheit to Celsius, and I've named my parameter as Fahrenheit to Celsius, so I just want to be as descriptive as possible. And then I've taken this equation for that conversion, and I'm going to return that value. My second function converts Fahrenheit to Kelvin. So I've named this one F2K. There's something interesting here because I can actually use that function that I just mentioned earlier in this new function here. Rather than writing out the whole entire equation again, I can just use the function. So that's really cool because essentially the equation for converting Fahrenheit to Kelvin is the same as converting Celsius to Kelvin because in order to convert Celsius to Kelvin, which I've written down here, you essentially take Celsius plus 273.15. So really you're converting Fahrenheit to Celsius first and then adding 273.15. So rather than writing all of that again, I can just use my function here where I'm already converting Fahrenheit to Celsius and call it and just add the 273.15 and that will give me Kelvin. And the way I do that is by writing F2C, so that's my function name. It's going to call the function here. My parameter is Fahrenheit to Kelvin, which is going to be essentially the user input when they provide that. And then it's going to add 273.15 and return that value. My next function is going to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, so C to F. And the equation is kind of backwards from Fahrenheit to Celsius, so you're taking Celsius times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. Now, I do have syntax here of adding a point zero at the end as if I were making these a float number. Python does not require that. It will automatically give a float number. So if I just do 9 divided by 5, it's going to give me a decimal place at the end. In Java, you have to define whether you're using an integer or a float, and that's usually done with the point zero. 
So that's something I've just carried over from Java just to just out of habit of creating that syntax because I usually always want a decimal in Java. So it doesn't really matter for Python. It's not necessary. You'll get the same results, but just out of habit, that is why I write that. So my next function converts Celsius to Kelvin. And that was that formula I mentioned earlier where you just take the Celsius and add to 73.15. Now my next function, I'm going to add a comment above to describe what it does. And this one converts Calvin to Celsius. And the formula for that is going to be something I take from Google. So I've just looked up temperature conversions and Google displays the formula down here. So when going from Kelvin to Celsius, oh, we just subtract Kelvin minus 273.15. Makes sense because in order to go from Celsius to Kelvin, we added, so now we're just gonna subtract. So I'm going to use my parameter name. And subtract 273.15 and then return that value. And again, for my last function, I'm going to add my comment that explains what it does. So converting from Kelvin to Fahrenheit, just going to check Google again, even though I'm sure we could do some back calculations from the formulas we've used earlier. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So here is the actual Kelvin temperature. And so you might notice that this is essentially Kelvin minus 273. So we're converting Kelvin to Celsius and then multiplying by nine divided by five and then adding 32. So again, here I can actually use this function rather than writing the whole formula out. So I can actually call this Calvin to Celsius function first and then add in the extra little bit at the end in order to convert it back to Fahrenheit. So I'm going to call K to C and remove the 273.15 because I won't need it. And here I will be multiplying 9 divided by 5 plus 32. And I don't need the point zeros at the end, but just to keep everything the same, I'm going to add them. So now all my functions are complete. These are the formulas that I will be using to calculate temperature conversions. Next, I'm going to go on to my while loop. So this, while it is true, it's going to keep looping over and over until the user tells it to stop. I've already written out my print statement, so as soon as the loop begins, it's going to say, here's my temperature type to convert Fahrenheit, Celsius, Kelvin, or exit the program. And then it's going to print, enter the number one, two, or three of the temperature type you wish to convert from the list above, or enter four to end the program. And this is with input, so this is how Python gets user input. Java uses the scanner class, so it's definitely a lot more simple in Python. So this is constantly going to repeat, asking the user for the temperature type. Now I next have an if, elif, else statement in order to get the choices. So if the user temp is one, the temp value is going to be an input of enter the value of the temperature where I'm again asking the user to enter a value and then making sure that that value is a float. So even if they enter something such as like 100, it gets input as a decimal. And then we're going to print the temp value. So if they say 100, it's going to print 100 degrees Fahrenheit is. And then I need to add in my functions here. All right, so you might have caught that I just changed my code because I had to pause my recording and reformat it because I actually just learned something new in my Python class about how to 
format. So when formatting, I want two decimal places and the syntax that I learned is this F with the single quotes, all is one statement using a brace and then I put my method inside. So the method that I want to use, the first one is Fahrenheit to Kelvin. And then the temp value is the user input that is passed into it. And then a colon 0.2F will give me two numbers after the decimal point. So I quickly changed all of that. And that is the formatting that I'm going to use for my output. So I've already filled in one for Fahrenheit and two for Celsius. So for here, I am inputting three for Calvin, and I'm just going to copy and paste the input and copy the same print statements and to be very careful that I change everything like I should. Because sometimes you might paste something and forget to change one thing and then it looks wonky. So my first output will be in Celsius and my second one will be in Fahrenheit. So print the temperature degrees Kelvin is, and I'm going to use Kelvin to Celsius and then Kelvin to Fahrenheit. So that's my last input. The last elif statement is for number four, which is going to close the program. So if the user types in four, it is going to print the statement that the program has been closed and then break, which essentially stops the while loop from continuing. And I do have an else statement here so that if for whatever reason the user does not put one, two, or three, it will print that value is incorrect. Please enter one, two, or three to convert a temperature. So everything should be okay. I'm going to save my program and run it. So here I've got my output. It looks like it's all displaying correctly. So I'm gonna say one, let's convert some to Fahrenheit. And let's say we're gonna convert 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So here I've got my output which looks correct. And it's going to again ask me to convert. And just to double check, I'm gonna to go to Google and see how much 100 degrees is. So 100 degrees is 310.928 in Kelvin and my output is 310.93. So perfect. Python rounds up that last value. So it came out as 0.93 and let's check it out in Celsius. 37.7778. So again, Python is going to round that to 37.78. So awesome. My temperatures seem to be working. Let's do the next one. Let's go Celsius. Or again, convert 100 degrees Celsius. So 373.15, that's probably correct for Kelvin since all we do is add 273. Yep, 373.15 and 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So even though this happened to come out exactly, it still added those two decimal places, that 0, 0.00 at the end. And just to prepare for Kelvin, let's change that and enter number three. So I'm gonna do 100 Kelvin and I've got negative 279.67 for Fahrenheit negative 279.67, all right, and negative 173.15, and negative 173.15 for Celsius, so perfect. Now let's enter a value that's incorrect. I'm gonna enter five. Oh, well, that value's incorrect, please enter it. So it's going to tell me it's incorrect, and then again, give me the option to enter another value. What if I enter some letters? The same thing happens, the value's incorrect, please enter something correct. Let's go number four, we're gonna end the program. And the program has been closed. So that's it, it worked perfectly, it worked how I wanted it to. So that is my program for temperature conversion in Python.
And it is just quite interesting for me to write these programs and kind of compare to Java because the syntax is just slightly different. Python is less verbose, which makes it a lot easier to use. It is quite a nice language, and I have to know it for my program because data science is pretty heavy in Python. But there will be more videos about Java versus Python programs, maybe some tutorials as I actually learn and can teach people. Um, one thing I have noticed as I'm learning how to program is that it is taught in a way that's not very intuitive for my own brain. So hopefully I can create some tutorials in the future that make it a little bit easier to learn programming and to write programs, at least for Java and Python. So thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for future videos of programs written in Java and Python and maybe some tutorials in the future as well.